Yes, everybody, welcome back to Talking Wolves. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. And it's been a while since we've done one of these, but we are back with a transfer uh, news update video. Um, hope you guys are all well. Uh, as always, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we are so, 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 so close to the 15,000 subscriber mark now. Uh, so if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, and of course, we've got our uh, channel partners over at Football Prizes. Every week, they've got a new Wolves prize out. And this week, it is a signed Wolves shirt from this season. So that ends on Wednesday evening. If you just miss out on that, be sure to check out their website because I'm sure there'll be another Wolves prize on there. But um, lots of rumours to get through, mainly over the last couple of weeks or so because I haven't really um, done a video for you guys. But you're going to start off with a big piece of news that dropped today over in Spain. And it is about Barcelona's... And Sue Fatty, um, a really, really talented football player, but unfortunately being held back a little bit over the last year or so with injuries. Only 20 years of age at the time was uh, when he made his debut with Barca's second youngest ever player. He made his debut for Barcelona at the age of just 16 years of age, but an unbelievable footballer. Uh, but like I said, the last year or so predominantly really struggled with injuries. He was out for nine months at the end of last season. Um, came back this year, started off quite brightly again and then got, got injured again. It's said that Xavi won't really be counted on him as of next season. And Barcelona are said to possibly be looking to accept between 40 and 50 million euros for him. Um Look, I, I would love for him to come to Wolves. Newcastle and Tottenham are also two of the Premier League clubs that are, are said to be interested. And Wolves do have good ties with Barcelona and George Mendes, who would no doubt be involved. Um, I would love for this to be to happen, but the priority for summer has got to be a proper number nine. Once we get that sorted, we can sign whoever we want in those wide areas. But for me... A striker has got to be priority, but I would love Wolves to sign somebody like Ansu Fati. The only, obviously, doubt in my mind is the injuries, but a, a very, very good uh, young footballer. Even maybe uh, a loan option uh, or a loan with an option to buy for Wolves going into next summer. Um, let's wait and see. But Ansu Fati, the latest name to be linked with Wolves. Uh, another player over in Spain is David Garcia. Um, now, this is the Osasuna defender that Wolves were pretty heavily linked with in January as well. Um, it's been reported over the last week or so that Lopetegui has not forgotten about him and will look to reignite a move for him um, in the summer. He's got a €20 million Euro release clause, which Osasuna said would have to be activated if he is to leave the club. There is... Another Spanish club also said to be interested in him. I think it's Bill Bow. Um, and uh, Garcia would want around €3 million Euros a year uh, uh, as part of his contract is if he is to leave. So I think that works out around your £60,000 a week mark, which is uh, obviously not too bad uh, for a Premier League defender. But yeah, David Garcia, make sure um, you keep your eye out for that one over the summer. Um Diego Costa, obviously, he's still a Wolves player at the moment. His contract is up at the end of the season. There's been lots of discussion on Diego Costa, whether should we keep him, should we let him go? We've discussed it on the podcast. Um, I personally would probably let him go, but I do understand people's um, thoughts in regards to possibly keeping him as well. But um, Daily Mail over in the UK uh, has said um, that... Obviously, Diego Costa Wolves are still weighing up whether to give him a new deal or not. But Lopetegui does understand and has been impressed by Costa's influence on and off the pitch. There's a number of younger players, Jao Gomez, Mateus Cunha, who have come in. And obviously, you know, Costa's still a fairly new player for Wolves, but obviously immediately made them feel at home. Um, so I do appreciate that maybe as a third or fourth choice striker next season, he would be a good tutor or mentor possibly to, to have behind closed doors. Um, but for me as a proper option next season, I would personally be against it. But um, we'll have to wait and see. We did a poll on uh, Twitter, close to 3,000 votes. 80% of people said they would keep Diego Costa uh, for next season so let's wait and see on that one um another talented footballer linked with balls another winger though it's marcus edwards um not much else to say on this one right now but record over in portugal so that walls are amongst a number 
And by a number, I mean many Premier League clubs that are obviously interested in Marcus Edwards. He's an English player, English winger. Uh, he starred uh, really well for Sporting in their European adventures this season once again. Um, but you, you're probably thinking from his point of view, if he's ever wanting to get into the England setup, he's probably going to have to be playing in England. So uh, for him very soon, a move to England may be imminent. So Wolves will be keeping, obviously, an eye on that situation. And we've closed ties and good ties. Um with those Portuguese clubs, that, that move may be doable. Um, goal in Spain, uh, as I said, Wolves and Everton reportedly have strong interest in Almeida's um, striker El Bilal Torre. Um, Everton and Wolves are both said to have contacted the players' representatives regarding a potential move in the summer. Uh, he's got six league goals uh, in 19 games so far this season, but still a very young player for a team struggling. It's not a, it's not the worst return in the world, um, but that's pretty early days on that one as of right now. Adama Traore, I think we've all pretty much um, resigned to the fact that he's going to be leaving the club in the summer and that he won't be uh, extending his contract. We've already seen teams predominantly in Italy looking at him, um, but Al Ittihad over in Saudi Arabia, I believe it's Nuno Espirito Santo's current club uh, are also interested in Adama Traore. So we might well see a Nuno and uh, Adama Traore link up once again. Nuno was obviously a huge fan of Adama. So uh, let's see what happens there. Uh, another winger Wolves have been linked with, but uh, well, it's Irving Lozano from Napoli. But this uh, report has more touted Wolves as a potential um, destination for Lozano rather than actually saying that the club are interested in him. Um, obviously, Wolves have got, again, Napoli are another team that have good ties with George Mendes, as we do. Um, as uh, the the players' agency has good ties with Wolves, I think Lozano's uh, agency has a number of players at the club as well. Um, and he's open to a Premier League move. So I think um, Azteca, TV Azteca, over in uh, Mexico, we're just sort of adding two and two together on that one. But Herving Lozano, 27 years of age, another player uh, touted with a move to Wolves. Um, Kangin Lee as well, had a really promising season uh, for Mallorca. Again, in Spain, could play as a number 10 or out on the wing as well. Um, Wolves are amongst a number of clubs, including Atletico Madrid, Aston Villa, Brighton, even Burnley are said to be interested. Still only 22 years of age. He's a player that Wolves have been linked with a number of times before. Um, we'll wait and see again in the summer what happens with him. But that sort of flexibility and versatility is something that Lopetegui would probably like the look of. Um, and then a couple of nice things to finish off on. Obviously, Fabio Silva, you guys would have seen, uh, I'm sure, over the weekend, scored the winning penalty for PSV to beat Ajax and win the Dutch Cup. He started on the bench, came off the bench, uh, and a cracking penalty. Not much more on his future has been said in recent weeks. It's no... Um, you know, it's no real, um, what's the right word? Basically, it's not a secret that PSV want to keep Fabio Silva and it's not a secret that Fabio Silva is enjoying his time in Holland right now. Um, but we'll have to see. Wolves aren't going to want a player sat out on loan, uh, although, you know, he probably will have some great opportunities again next season. But out on loan, not signing a new deal at the club and his value is likely just to keep decreasing um so it's a big decision for fabio silva and the club on that one in the summer and jess on mascara as well it's match day 10 in the mls and he's already picked to be second um team of the week performance uh although they do call it team of the match day team of the match day over in uh, america but it's uh his second one i think his other one was on weekday six or match day six a few weeks ago um and this one was because he scored yet again another goal um in their uh, I think it was a draw against New England Revolution. So, uh, yeah, big up to Jason Mascara for uh, another Man of the Match performance. Um, as always, guys, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Do let me know your thoughts on any of the rumours that we've spoken to, uh, spoken about today. And, um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Let's get us up to 15,000 by the end of the week. We'll be back for the pre-Aston Villa content and hopefully Wolves can bounce back after that disastrous defeat against Brighton last weekend. But until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you all very, very soon.